So after years of researching other people who have bought pallets, trying to find anybody that's doing it here locally within a 50 mile radius, we finally found a company and we were ready to jump in and take that first initial step of going and looking at the pallets. So this is a small company in Kalamazoo, Michigan. At least they have a pallet mover. No, they did not have a pallet jack. So once we get it out to our van, then we had to unload it. You just had to make a decision. You just had to go with like buy what you thought you saw <laughs> that was at least worth some value. That's my <laughs> So they'll just bring it in and then we'll share with you one by one. I don't know what that is because it is extremely heavy. So hopefully Alex will come back over and help, help Chris with that one this time. So there's a lot of boxes. I don't know. We'll find out. Let's just put this one on the table. Team left. Team left. Team left. Yeah, it's pretty heavy. I don't know what that one is. Team left, but Chris tried to lift it at the pallet place by himself. Welcome back to the channel. It's Yvonne. Chris and Alex is standing off to the side here at Ginger Chick Rehab. And yes, we went and bought a pallet. Why not? Everybody else seems to be on that train. It seems like a lot of fun when you're watching other YouTubers open them up. It's like Christmas Day, all that surprise all in one. So, yep, we went up. We took some time trying to study them, but it's really kind of hard because you can't really get to the barcode. You can't really see a lot of things that are in there um, at all until you unpack the pallet and they've already paid for it. So when we were loading it up, we kind of did see a, a few here and there, and hopefully that's what's in the box. So um, yeah, so are you guys all excited to look at what we got in our pallet? So we paid $550 for the pallet. So we will see um, via comp, so what we feel like we can resell it for, either on Marketplace or re-gift it to family members or friends. And then also, is it something we can sell in a retail booth? Is it something we can put on eBay? We don't know at this point, so we will find out. So let's get unpacking. So right off the bat, we did notice a baby gate, um, pet gate it's called. And one of Alex's roommates has a puppy dog who is a puppy. And so Alex has actually been talking about getting one for their house because he's still just, a, he's a puppy. So sometimes they need to be kenneled a little bit in the house. Mm -hmm. So he's super excited on this one because right off the bat, we get to re-gift something to him. So we're going to get it Merry opened Christmas. up. And <laughs> we're going to get it opened up and share with you. And hopefully that is what's in there. And hopefully it's not broken. Because like she said, the lady said at the pallet company, she's like, um, you know, there's no guarantees. You just can't guarantee it. And there it is. So it looks like it's a baby gate. Yep. Well, a pet, this one's actually called a pet gate. So it'd go like this. So. Oh, there you go. And, and the down. funny thing is, is if you get close, it has dog hair on it. Yes. So apparently it didn't it work does. very well for those people. And it has puppy paws. <laughs> it has puppy paws. Can you show them the puppy paws? Yes. That's hilarious. Because you know, a lot of times these are returned. It did not work. So so we will just kind of dig in. Now that, uh, that one is super heavy that said lift team. I can't believe that Chris 
Chris tried to lift this in before I was even knowing that he was lifting this in when we took it off the pallet. So they're going to get this big guy open. I don't know what this one is. I think it's a rock. It's a big boulder that's long. And I know I'm probably far away. I've seen far away, but, you know, Chris and Alex are much taller than I am. It looks like a roll of something. Tar paper? Maybe somebody ordered tar paper. I don't know. We'll... It's a huge roll of vinyl, it looks like. Oh, okay. It's a rubber, rubber, like you would lay down, actually, for, like, the garage, it looks like. Oh, so, wow. But... This thing's got to be about 120, 130 pounds, so I cannot believe they shipped this. I can't believe they shipped that right, either. we're going to go this but way. Yeah, foam that we, you lay on the floor, you could put in your workshop, we could put on our, in our garage. I, I don't know, some type of a... It, it did not su survive well in its travels. We do know that that box... The box was, didn't. The box did not. That packaging definitely outweighed. And then you had to return it. That was the worst of it all. Not only did you have it delivered, but then you had to return it. So I don't so, think this is the original box for whatever's in here. And she did say some of them may not be original boxes. It might just be, oh, yeah. yes. So we're going to open the next one. And it is, it looks like some kind of a hamper or a trash can. Oh. It's a trash can. That doesn't work or does work? Whoa. Was your head in there? <laughs> <laughs> the, oh, sorry. This is the part that opens. Um, I'll have to look at it. I, I think it might be broken. I don't know. <laughs> I don't think it's attached. No. Nope. Nope. So it may be broken or it may be able to be fixed. Oh, down. It's like, it's like Christmas morning. You, they don't let anybody get to see anything. This start one. Start enjoying it too much. Repair cars with it, possibly. So. Now, somebody in the comment section is going to say exactly what it is. Yes. So I did notice when I was reading and looking up some of the names on this one, there were some car parts, which I kind of assumed hopefully are resellable. So. so I don't know what this is, but if you do, comment below. <laughs> Um, we'll look it up also and see what it is. So this is another, they call them mystery boxes when they're all just in a cardboard box and you can't see oh, what it so, is. So, yep, this is just, have you all have to, had return Amazon products return? Like when we return them to our UPS, you don't package them anymore. They just take them and throw them in a big box. So we could have some of those in here. So, yeah. So we'll see. Oh, nope. I think this is just one thing. I think it's a... Uh, I, I, I don't know what this is. Oh, <laughs> you're get up on your bed. Oh, oh. That's what I believe it is. I don't, it's definitely not a slide because it's got, grip, it's got, it's got it's gripper. It's got grip on it, too. It's got grip. And I don't think it's strong enough for like when you ride a motorcycle into the bed of your truck or anything. <laughs> so I do think this is for Morning, animal. For pet use only. For ah, pet use go. only. We got the pet palette. It's got some texture on it, so your little puppy, your can walk up a little sandpaper grit yeah little grit it's yeah it's it's a big piece oh that's so sweet that's so sweet all right okay. staying with the pet theme <laughs> i said we must have the pet palette so we got we got a little little key cat on here so this yep. it says bissell and yep. i don't know i mean this side has been open has this, it been open or is it just, I think that's just worn. Yeah. So I don't may, think it, this is still factory sealed. Yeah. So maybe this is um, new and in, this is factory sealed. New in box, but uh, we're newbies. So we're opening them all up to see what they are. Because so it I is know, like Christmas. Yes. I know that you can resell them better if we leave them in box. But now we're going to open them all up and take a look. So this looks like it's actually some kind of a vacuum cleaner. Oh, it's a hard floor expert. Oh, it's got a lot of pieces of parts. Oh, we don't have one of these. No. We don't. Um, I just use a Swiffer. I was going to say, I don't think we need one. It looks like it's all this brand new. Yeah. Yeah. So there you go. It's yeah, brand new in box. It's got all the pieces. Are you looking it up, Alex? A Bissell spin wave. They sell from like 100 to 125. So we definitely don't need it for that price. <laughs> We, can, yeah. we would rather sell it. Five. five. So five so far. 
Oh, let me share the one that Chris did see. Right I knew she would want this palette just because of this one just item. Just because y'all would. This was why it was worth five fifty. Look at that! <laughs> look at it. It's like this palette was meant for us. <laughs> a bread box, a black enamelware bread box. Is that not hilarious? Run. Not only does it have the bread storage on top, but it's got like it's ready one. to go straight into the booth. Yeah. Very cute. And I resell bread boxes $35, $45. So, yeah, that's a. This is one of the mystery boxes again, but it really kind of confuses you because it doesn't even sound like anything's in it. Now, when we watch other people open pallets, um, that. They said, usually in every pallet, you'll get filters. So we're just waiting for our box of filters. No, this nope. isn't. Nope, it's a... Is this for the... I think it's a nursing mom? pill. Brand new nursing pill. Well, I'm sure. I don't know. They'll probably... Somebody probably will like it. It's actually taller than me when we unloaded it. Uh, they did not have a forklift there, so we had to actually had to hand unload it and uh, put it in the van. I'm not sure what this is. Humidifier? Uh, oh, it's a cooling fan. Because it has all the remotes and it has the ice ice cubes with, uh, like you freeze these. We have some of these from New Air. Oh. Yep. So yeah, it's you freeze these, you can put it in there um, with a mister and it really keeps you cool. So these aren't cheap. It's got a remote, which probably needs batteries. And they're nice because we love ours. I mean, and we use ours. We have one in our living room and one in our bedroom. And in the winter times, we put water in it to add humidity. So yeah, they're nice. Not only can you freeze those little cubes and help cool off, you can go ahead and yeah, in the winter, use it as an humidifier we may probably keep 80. it probably maybe keep it for one of the kids our kids though because they are nice to have especially um we had actually talked about getting having them get one so they can have them for a humidifier this is a this planter is. box <laughs> that sits on oh it's a your porch a on deck, the rail yep. a deck planter box oh hmm. okay That's, yeah so, Rally, our railing's only out front, so it's something I'd probably resell. Now this box it looks like it's been it's beat up a little. Been chewed on. Yoga mat. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, we use these mats all over our shop. I pick them up when I'm thrifting for us to stand on because we were, I, you know, I stand out there all day long. It's like so Amazon basic. Yes, and actually, the funny thing is, is um. I actually had picked them up when the Alex and Zoe, well Zoe still works at Hog Creek, but yeah, we picked them up for them to stand on behind the register. So yeah, if you're not using it for yoga, you can um, use it to stand on. That's a nice cushy mat, very nice cushy so mat. So it says do not cut with sharp. Not cut with sharp object and he is cutting so, with sharp objects. I guess I'll have to be a little careful. You have this to one. be a little gingerly, gingerly. And there's a reason why, because some seat cushions. There's, cushions. Two, there's two of them, and they actually have some weight to them. Oh, they do. Hello, oh. perfect. It's nice and they're nice and heavy. What you guys can't see is Alex is off on the side. Every time we open something, he's got his phone out just sitting there typing he's, in the he's, information. He's, he's our researcher. He's looking it up. So this is another reason why I saw this. Uh, it's a Lego Star Wars. Now it does look like it has been open and you can hear they don't sound like they're in their little plastic bags like normal. But if this, uh, if this is all intact, now it does look like it has been open and you can hear they don't sound like they're in their little plastic bags like normal. But if this, uh, if this is all intact, these retail for about 150 bucks. Oh. Still got its plastic. So unfortunately, and the some of it is in the plastic. Be... Plastic, but yeah, unfortunately, with a lot of these, what you have to do to make sure you've got all the parts is put it together. So this will be something for Alex to do on his late nights. <laughs> I know Alex sold his when he when he was little and he used to do um, Lego kits. 
he would sell them for like half price in marketplace. So, yeah. and he would you would still get 40, 50 bucks for them at that time. Yeah, yeah. So, so it's definitely together, worth it. So I'm sure somebody would be happy to have that. Now this one is very questionable if it's it still looks, together. It looks a little smashed. It might actually have some extra pieces with it now. But it's an indoor electric grill. Yeah. So mm, far, so, far. so good. So far. Oh, so it's actually got a. Hmm. Oh, there's a Life runaway. Time. Did you see that runaway? And then this handle has to be connected. To the there's a runaway that fell. Yeah, it's under And then the plug in. So, yeah. perfect. Yeah, uh, maybe. Still in good shape. Yeah. There's a something, little yeah. rubber grommet that goes yeah. in with something. Yeah, Probably it's on the handle. It's... Oh, it's, it's just not screwed there. in. Yeah, it's it just not screwed in. in. Yep. Yeah. I, so far, I, I don't think it's a disappointment at all. This is this no. is a lot of fun for. No, and that's the, I, I think that's mine and Yvonne's biggest thing is not to make you know thousands of extra dollars like you see on a lot of those YouTubes, where it says we bought it for five fifty and we made twenty eight thousand dollars. We're just doing it for fun. As long as we break even or even come close, I'm going to be happy because this is. I mean, it's. Summer in August or Christmas in August. Christmas, yeah, not Christmas in July. We're Christmas in August. Or maybe September. We just took us a long time air. to decide that we wanted to do this. So this one is oh, this is one of the car part ones that you had looked up. A doormat. Radiator thing. Oh. So this will definitely be something that goes on Amazon. Or uh, eBay. Or eBay, I mean. It goes on eBay. And I, I have no idea. You know, this could be a $20 part or this could be a $75 part or $250. Who knows? I know. I know car parts usually sell really well on eBay. Um, I know Alex and his thrifting and his secondhand shopping has picked up. And even Chris has picked up pieces and parts like that. Um, that, yeah, Car parts he, and mechanical parts do yeah. seem to sell fairly decent. Yeah. Getting back to the pet theme. Oh, got more pet theme. Apparently the little dog that gets on your bed also has to piddle in the corner. So <laughs> that's what this is. I'm not going to open it. It's just a uh, basically a, a mat it looks like that can the dog can go up? to the bathroom on. And I know in the bigger and cities, on a the lot back of it actually shows it <laughs> on somebody's fire escape. Yeah. So that makes more sense to me. So... And for Alex's roommate's dog is is like a husky type mix, so that's 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 for that's more for a little a little little dog, a little dog. And I know like the bigger cities do that a lot. All right, so this one actually looks like it might have been in its original packaging. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah, sounds like it's something you've already like. Nope, I think it's a rug. It's a rug. It's a brand new rug. We're not going to unwrap it. Um, oh, it's been unwrapped. No. It's just a rug. No, it's just been ripped a little bit on the packaging. Just, uh, I'm not sure the size. Two by six. Is that what it says on the end? Yep, two by six. Okay. Put in like front of your uh, sink or something like that in your kitchen. Yeah, yeah. And who knows? Maybe we got a couple more of them. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. Well, this one feels really light. This is a fishing pole. Oh, what's a fishing pole? Is it a little and kid's fishing pole? I don't. Hmm. That one makes sound. Um, uh, it's uh oh oh here we go. Does it have does it have a picture to show us what it is? Um, comfy bumper. Oh, it's like for the edge of your bed, for the bed. I don't know, I haven't so got to the final the, picture where it's all assembled. Yeah, there you go. If the child has now... Oh, uh, so they can't roll off their... So they can't roll off the bed. This would actually go underneath the mattress so the kid doesn't roll off. Okay. Yeah. Well, and kid stuff, I think, sells fairly quick, too. On yeah, Marketplace. I, yeah, on Marketplace. Yeah, that's something definitely local. I have to double check since it's not in original packaging that it's all there. Yeah. Yep. I have a feeling there's going to be some late nights for me putting things together. Oh, Chris likes to put things together. Don't let him fool you. Uh. Especially on Christmas Eve about 1 in the morning mm -hmm. when the kids were little. And he may have had a couple toddies. 
That just makes it go together a little there better. There you go, there you go. <laughs> Plain Santa's hard. I, I'm not disappointed by any. I was going to say, we still probably, we're only about halfway through. Yeah, this is. With these boxes. I, I mean, this is pretty fun. I mean, I think. Like I said, we'll figure out the comps and stuff, but I mean, we are about halfway through. I, I mean, I definitely, if it stays like this, I can't see how we're going to lose money on it. But like I said, we're not in it to make thousands. It'd be nice to find a gold bar in one of these though. This is some kind of a shelving unit. It looks like it's, it's just... Actually, it looks like it's an industrial or a, uh, a newer yeah. style uh, dresser. It's got a nice vinyl. Yeah. yeah. Look, yep. it still, it's trying to look like wood. Yeah, so I think they're the boxes, you know, that you would get like at Walmart or whatever that pops. I always feel sorry for the delivery drivers because not only did you purchase it once, but then you're sending it back. I Googled this thing um, at the pallet shop that this was a car part. Is it JD Mine? So one set, three pieces. So we're going to have to open it up and look. But if that's what's actually in this, it's still in its original box then, which is a plus. And it's still wrapped in plastic. Oh! oh. They're, it looks uh, like car mats. They're lined up for a vehicle. Of course, we'll have to look up and see what vehicle these go into. It's got the front floor panels, or these might be the back seat because of the way they're designed. The back seat, and then maybe for where your uh, the back of your wagon is. No, 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 these are the front. The front, and then that's the second seat. But these are actually formed to fit correctly into the, uh, the vehicle. These are, I love my mats. J. Demon, uh, all oh, that, leather. There was a bonus. Oh, it's got a um, little storage box. Or is that the one that mounts to the back of the this seat? This is a kick mat car seat protector. Yeah, these are actually a really good brand. So our next one, I was already really excited about once Chris was loading this up because you could see what they were. And since we're resellers that ship, it's a whole bunch of shipping boxes. Yeah, there's probably 25, 20, 25 boxes yeah. in there. So they were the 13 by 11 by 5 size, which is a size we don't have. Have. so that's awesome if any of you purchased from eBay or whatnot yes we need packing supplies so right because right over here is our little packing area yep this is our <laughs> our little makeshift packing area it seems to work so just order boxes um, a lot of times Alex has been coming home and shipping, but sooner or later he's going to have to get shipping supplies on his own at his house. But right now we share this little area trying to guesstimate what size of box we need to ship. So extra boxes? Uh, yeah, we can use those. So this one's definitely been opened and used. And if we're going to sell this, we need to sell this one on Marketplace quick before our pool season is done. But this is an Intex pool filter. Yep. And maybe somebody just ordered the wrong size or the pool died. I don't know. Um, well, yet again, we'll open the box up, making sure all the pieces and parts are there. And yes, we'll definitely pop this onto a marketplace quickly, quickly, because we're into August and we only got till about, you're pushing act first of October, usually by Memorial or Labor Day weekend here in Michigan, people are closing up their pools. Next is some really skinny, these are really skinny, watch out your face, <laughs> really skinny boxes. They're huge though. Yes, they're huge. I... Yeah, and there, there might be two of them, we're not sure. Five? Yes. Back through the same. Oh, so. I don't know, let's see what we have. Or it's a portable pet. Play pen. A portable hat playpen. When you take your, your dogs to uh, daycare, you need to have them in a playpen now. Wow. I didn't know I I didn't know there was such a thing. We had a Saint Bernard, so I, I don't think he would have fit in a playpen, but these are just a generic box that they're in, so 
We'll have to open them up just to make sure. They're different. So we have two things in here. Oh, it looks like it's a kid's tent. Maybe. Oh! oh it's going to explode <laughs> on me. It's going to get big. Somehow. Maybe, maybe. So it's one of those kid forts. <laughs> or maybe it's... And it's got other pieces to it. But I do not see any instructions in here on how to put it together or whatever. But I remember actually Zoe and Alex had something very similar to this when they had a playroom to just hang out in. How many adults does it take to open it up? Well, now we got to see if we can close it up too. That looks like a pet. <laughs> this looks like a pet rung. <laughs> this looks like, you know what the dogs would run through? Um, hold on. Hold on. Or kids, small kids crawl in it. <laughs> uh -huh, I don't know. <laughs> but everything know. just keeps on collapsing. And uh -huh. there are stakes here, Alex, so maybe this is part of it too. Yeah, I don't know. In here. I don't know. I don't know. Put it do on you marketplace. think it's for a small kid or do you think it's for a dog? Because we have a dog thing going on right now. So this is three of the five. Same thing. No. This oh. Is a medicine chest that you actually, when you're doing new construction, you're going to mount this into your wall cavity and then have the drywall all around it. So it'd be like that. Huh. So. Somebody apparently didn't need it on the job site anymore. So we thought we were going to get five of the same thing, and they're just generic boxes. Now this one... Which we still haven't found our filters yet. You know, they always say we find filters. This one think. actually is taped together. So I wonder if this is supposed to be a set of something. Oh. Oh, Alex got some more baby gate. Another baby gate. <laughs> yep. But this was for the white room. <laughs> have been. So three so, baby gates. Yep. AKA dog gates. Well, one's dog gate. One's a puppy gate. Okay. That's, that's funny how you get those God week moments. Alex was talking about having some of those and here the pallet has some. So yeah, but that was sitting. I have no idea what it is. I thought it was like a folding chair, well, you know, but then it's too heavy for a folding chair. And now it's got. <laughs> and then one of these clamps fell out too. So I'm like, oh, great. Tools, but. I don't think that's what this is. I don't know. Is it a, like a table? It is a photo video studio 10 foot adjustable background stand uh, with the backdrops. Like this. You oh, I can hang. use a studio backdrop. Yeah, green screen. I was going to say, this does not have the screen though to it. This is just the framework no, this for is just it. The framework. That's what they Okay. Said. Oh, so I could have pretty backdrops. I like my pallet wall, though, but maybe Alex and his filming and his picturing, then maybe that's something he could use. And they're all really unique things. I mean, I, I some things, some of the things I've never seen before, so it's really unique. All right, so this one I'm not going to open because it's still, well, I guess it isn't factory sealed anymore. Somebody had taped over it, so we probably should look at it. But this is just a, it's a mowing uh, for your shower or your bathtub surround area. And you would actually attach this onto the wall, that piece right there. A little shower cavity. So it would end up mounting onto the wall. It looks in like the all the pieces are the here. Shower? Yes. In, in the shower? Oh. In, in the shower. Oh. So is it like, oh, do you screw it in? Or is it um, sticky tape? It looks like this actually goes through, like you would actually have some kind of a bit yeah. that would drive a bolt into your wall. Oh. And then everything else clamps onto it. And here's your covers and all or that. Or like a tiled one though, right? Well, I'm I sure it can go on the, the other kind too. But all the parts seem to be here, so that's a plus and it's got the instructions. Moen's a good name. And Moen is a good name. The corning wear that's wear. put together with uh, blue painter's tape. I'm trying to give you a little close-up view. Uh, casserole dishes. Oh, just, some basic, just some basic white stuff? No. no. 
It's got a lid so, for the casserole dish. Oh, oh something is broken. One of the broken. lids. That's not here anymore. <laughs> One of the lids is not here anymore. Oh. I know I can hear it. Oh, it's right here. The chip off of the oh the casserole dish too. Oh, that's mm -hmm. too bad. So. Yep. Uh, casserole dish there. I mean, that's kind of the important one, I think. So. Yeah. Yeah, there's usable pieces. You can still use the casserole dish. Um, now, this one is still factory sealed. <laughs> so, it so. is a foot bath. So, you don't need to open that one up. It's nope. definitely what's in there. Yep. I have a foot bath, so I don't need one. But we'll definitely look it up and see what they sell for, yep. too. Yep. And this one doesn't need to be opened up either. It's a, uh, a what is it called on the front? A baby what? Baby trend. Uh, it's a little baby carrier, you know, kind of. Where the kid can walk around. Oh, like a little. Oh. It's got the little wheels on it. Okay, new in packaging, so we'll leave that as is. I, I haven't sold on Marketplace kids stuff, um, but. We'll see if anybody's interested in it. All right, four left. Four, we're down to last four. All right, so this is... This is the shelf liner. Shelf liner, but... ...and stuff like that. And I told Yvonne, I said, we might be able to use this out in the workshops. So... Yep, that's what it is, and there's... There is a lot of it there. I don't know how many feet did it say on the box, but then they cut all the name tags off and everything. So, yeah, it does it? 50 foot. Good. And hmm. yeah, we can throw that Shelf also. Shelf liner, floor runner. All right. So this one, the packaging's a little worse for wear too. It's a hammock. A hammock. That's what it says. Hammock with a stand. Let's see if it's a full hammock with a stand. They definitely tried to put it together. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's uh, a uh -huh. lot of scratch marks on this already. So if they didn't put it together, they, uh, they gave drug it. it around the yard quite a bit. It's not the hammock. Yes, and it's missing the hammock. So it's just the, the stand. <laughs> yes. Um, I guess they gave up on putting the hammock. It's got the a stand. couple of the pieces with it, but not all of them. Not so this one might be a, a loss. Or a recycle, just a recycle. It might, if all the pieces and parts are there, it's not, not really worth the time to order a new hammock. We're down to two. Now this was heavy. So I don't know if that I bet that's probably really what it is, but I'm not sure how it would be all in this small of a box. A twin bunk bed? Twin, twin mission bunk bed. Hmm. But that's not... A very big box for it? No. 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 So let's <laughs> check it out. It's, it's, it's wood. Yeah, I would say like uh, you get, you know, three boxes. One's got the headboard and footboard and the other one's got like the side rails and stuff. This one has all the wooden slats. <laughs> so this whole box is full of the slats to go across the two bunk beds. And you know, um, yeah, we'll be able to reuse that. So our last box. Yep. So, um, it's... and I believe this is new and I think it's a memory foam mattress. So I'm not sure, um, an eight inch memory foam mattress. Our mattress is for Amazon and it came in a roll. I think Alex's did too. The way of ordering mattresses now, it's a firm. Comes with some, yeah, this do is... not disturb Netflix and process. All it's, right. it's a, so it is a, a mattress, one of those ones that, if you were to cut this open, it's going to expand out on you. Twin. It is a twin, now that we see that. It's a twin size mattress. So, good for somebody. Yeah. I mean, never been used, as you no. can see. No.
All right, so that's it. $550 for all this material. Uh, everything is open now. We've seen what it all is. Uh, what do you think? Did we do good? Did we do bad? I think we did okay. Like I said, you know, you, you don't have any $1,000 items like you see on those clickbait ones, but I think for what we did, um, we'll end up slightly ahead, uh, and that'll probably get us uh, to want to do it again in the future. We do have a few things to sell, though, first. Yes, we do have a few things to sell, and I'm actually glad that we didn't have any filters in our box. Everybody else that we watch always says, oh, you're always going to get filters, but no filters. Well, well, if you count the pool filters, so that was, that was a filter. So, That's a filtration yeah. system. Yeah, filtration system. So I hope that you all enjoyed today's video. Um, this was a lot of fun. And like I said, if you know, we would like to complete this, sell what we can. And I, I can, this was fun and it was a good one to get. So we would probably definitely do this again down the road, not to any time like too awful soon, but yes, yeah, so you definitely want to recoup your money back first. So thank you so much for watching today's video, and I hope we have inspired you. If you have any local places that sell pallets, it, yeah, you have to have a little, what do they say? You have to spend money to make money. So yeah, and if you're willing to marketplace or eBay or if you're a reseller, it's, yeah, it's a lot of fun. Yes, it's Christmas, Christmas and, and a lot of cardboard boxes. So thanks again for watching, guys. And as always, if you are part of our YouTube family, thank you so much. And if you are new and you're checking out our palettes for the first time, be sure to check out the Ginger Chick channel, channel because usually we are doing secondhand finds, which these are secondhand finds, but usually more of the thrift store type. But I definitely love the palettes. So thanks again. Bye.